Welcome everybody to a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be talking about projected items and Roblox trading. I'm going to be going over the basics about projected items, how to trade for projected items, and how to trade projected items. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So the first thing I want to do is talk about the basics of projected items. So projected items are items with a fake value or wrap. Uh, so right here, this King of Seafolk is a good example of that. Uh, so if you come down here, uh, one way you can see is this graph right here as it's uh, you know very smooth and just like a line across and then it randomly shot up here. That is the sign of a projected item. Uh, there's actually a couple ways you can check if it's projected. Another way you can check if it's projected is it's going to have this label up here that says projected projected and another way you can check and this is actually you can check in game uh, this all isn't always the case but uh, if the wrap is way above the best price that is a good sign that is also projected so the next thing I want to talk about is how to trade for projected items. So right here is a good example of me trading a projected item. Uh, so I went ahead and I gave 2.7 for the projected item. Now since this item is at 7k right now, I did give 2.7 which I will say is quite a bit. I wouldn't normally give this much but I guess I just did. Uh, and then up here is the trade where I traded the projected item for 3.8. So as you can see here, this is a win because I traded 2.7 for the projected item and then I traded the projected item for 3.8. So as you can see, that is an easy way to invest with projected items. So basically when sending for projected items, uh, Every projected item can have a different value, and this is kind of what I go by. Uh, you can also stick to this kind of uh, thing. I go by projected uh, projected items under 5,000 wrap. I tend to avoid because it is almost at its uh, normal value, and I usually won't go for projected that low. Uh, you can go for projected that low, maybe give like 1K for them. I wouldn't do much more than that, or at least give like the base value of when it's not projected. For projected items that are 6k to 10k, I usually give around 2 to 3k depending on uh, how much the projected is. If it's more like 10k, I'll give 3k, and if it's more to 6k, then I'll give 2k. And lastly, projected items higher than 10k, I usually give around 3k or more. Uh, if it's something like uh, 17 to 20k, I usually give like 4k, but I don't think I'll ever give more than 4k for a projected item. Now once you get that projected item, you're going to want to go ahead and trade it for some profit. So there's two things you can do. You can either trade the projected for more than you gave, or you can flip the projected. So basically those two different things are, uh, so this is an example of me just uh, profiting from a projected. I gave 2.7 for the projected item. And then I traded the projected item for 3.8. As you can see, easy 1k profit. Now, the way that you can flip projected is you, uh, you can just trade for the projected normally, uh, give whatever you need to give for it. And then you can try and trade the projected item. Like, for example, this projected item is 7k. So then to flip this projected item, I would trade it for 7k. So when flipping projected, you want to try and get uh, close or the amount that the projected is at in its wrap at that current state. So in all, uh, basically you want to understand how to profit from projected items before you actually trade for them. Uh, so if you have any questions about you know trading projected items or how to profit with them, leave them in the comment section down below because I'll be more than willing to help. Uh, projected items are risky, uh, you know, trading for them because you have to understand that projected items are going to drop as they get sold for the normal price. Uh, so you don't want to hold on to them for long at all, and you want to uh, try and get them quick and trade them off quick. Another big thing is when trading in general, you always want to look out for projected items in trades because people will try and sneak in projected items in a deal. You may not see it or notice it and then you may accept and you may end up losing from that. Anyway, that is going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully this video did help you. If it did, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below or you give this video a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. But that is going to do it for me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.